Now let's add our final product using CSV file. I could export the data from this page by selecting my products and using export to CSV from bulk action dropdown. But that's not what I need right now because this option will only provide me with the data which is available in this view. This data is common for each platform without additional attributes specific for a particular marketplace. To get all the data I need to go to catalog and click on export products to a file. Here I need to select for which marketplace I'd like to download a file for and click on export. Now I can choose whether I'd like to export all categories or only a specific one. Finally I can pick from CSV or XLS. This is the file I just exported. As you can see there are much more columns available in comparison to the view of our catalog page. Most of these columns, however, are irrelevant for me, so what I'm going to do is to remove all such columns and leave only those which I will be working with. Now, as you can see, there are much less columns than previously, and I can finally start working on my products. Please note that these products have a unique SKU and UPC, which is required combination, at least for Walmart products. The fastest way to add an item will be to copy a row and paste it below, like this. Now I need to make sure that the values are correct. SKU is unique, product name is fine, could be the same or different, and the UPC is unique too. Another thing I can make within this spreadsheet is to group these items together. I need to use the same group ID, and what I also have to do is to use some attribute that this group will be based on. I already know that an attribute named addition is available for this category, so I will go with this one. I'm using the same one for each product and unique value for the attribute itself. Now, when I'm done with the file, I can go back to Geekseller and upload my CSV. This is how my products look like before uploading the file. There are only two products and they have no group ID. Now I need to go to catalog and add products via file upload. Here I need to select a file and click on upload a file and map columns. The bigger the file, the longer it is going to take to load. Luckily we only have three products and as you can see, all the data looks good, which you can tell by this green indicator. Some fields, however, have different color but don't worry about that. It means that these attributes are marketplace specific. I can proceed to another step. Here I can make sure that the category was properly mapped. If not, I can click on edit button and look for the correct category. Now let's take a look at the preview and make sure it all looks good. I can finally import the file, if it does. As you can see, the message says that two products will be updated, which is true, and a single product will be created, which is also true. Let's complete import and get back to products list. And this is it. We now have additional product and all three are grouped together.